Hey look, a full tank of Argon, sweet! Oh yeah, I'm also wearing a fancy giant robot shirt, of course. Long sleeve one so I can weld in it and I won't burn my arms, you know, sunburn and all that. So, what I was doing when I ran out of Argon was taking these big hunkin' leg pieces, they're the biggest pieces on the whole robot, and just welding them all, because I tacked them, but I didn't finish like welding so they're strong. And the other two are done, and I just have to finish this one. And then I don't know what's next. Oh, isn't that great how I get on like all kinds of fancy welding gear to protect myself? And of course, I'm wearing sandals. And yes, my feet have little burn spots on them from falling pieces of molten metal. Ooh, ooh guess what else I got? Ball bearings! Well, they're not the prettiest welds, but I think they'll be good. I had to go over them a whole bunch of times because, you know, the welder doesn't weld stuff that thick. Now I'm making these silly things. So an axle can go through there, and an axle can go through there, and then something can rotate at 90 degrees, and it's kind of like a universal joint. But anyway, there's two, and here's my last one. I still, oh, I dropped the other piece. Well, I better go weld it together. Don't want my ball bearings to melt. Well, not that they'd melt, but the grease in them could burn. Haha, -ha, much better welding job. Ooh. Okay, so now it's the next day, because yesterday I had to declare war on mice and uh anyway. Um now I'm putting these things in place and they look really nice. I don't know if they even belong in this robot. They're all like perfect and everything. Well anyway. Uh to put the other two of these things on, I need two pieces of three eighths steel rod to go through them, but I ran out. Well, I have two short little pieces, but they're not long enough. But I do have this pipe that's like three quarters of an inch. Actually, it's just slightly bigger, so I'm gonna grind it down just by hand on the outside. It's not gonna be perfect, but if I can get it to fit, it'll be good enough to like get some uh, actual three eighths inch rod. Oh, that's better. I actually wanted to use uh, pipes for all these things instead of steel rods, because it would save a lot of weight. But I haven't found a place that has pipes with uh, really exact outside diameters, which is what I need. Hmm, I just realized I need to make a lot more of those thingies. I won't bore you with the details, but I've pounded a bunch of ball bearings into these pipes and cut little grooves so they fit, and now I can weld them all together. There's a bunch of these lying around. Holy cow, I'm going through spools of welding wire quick. Okay, ready to go again. Yeah, they look like little army mortar things. Mr. Mantel, it's very poor etiquette to play with your giant robot pieces. I needed to make this thing that was like a meter long with a universal joint at each end, all right? So I took a pipe and cut it and then smashed it with a hammer to split this part open and then like make flanges. And then I put on those silly, you know, mortar cannon things and there, and there's one at the other end. Although they're rotated 90 degrees to each other. And, uh, here's some leg pieces. Ooh, ooh, and it goes on here. Oh, come on. Oh, you're embarrassing me now. So for these three legs, that one, that one, and the one in the back, the only piece left I need is the vertical one. And then the other three legs, I still have to do some other stuff. But it's getting pretty close to standing. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it off the ground so I can attach the legs though. I need like a crane to pick it up or something. Well, I guess I can't just have these things flapping around on here. So I'm making some thingies to go in there and then I'll weld some bars going over there. That should hold it together. I have no idea if I'm yelling, because I have earplug blocker things on. Uh, good enough for the moment. Jamie's tired, but I'm gonna make some more pieces. I need more of those little cannon thingies that look like this. So now I have to take all these ball bearings, smash them into the things, pipes, uh, one in each end of every one of these, 
take all the ones with the cutouts, put them on the solid ones, and weld them. Now, these ball bearings I got really cheap at a surplus place, and they come with this little ring around them, which I can pull off with pliers. This one doesn't have the ring on anymore. It's over here. So I have to pull off 11 more rings and then put them all together. Come on. Oh, there we go. Woohoo! Sweet. Did I say I needed 12 ball bearings? Because I need a 24. Arr. I'm going in. I think it's snack time. All right. Well, these things are pretty useless without some sticks to go in them. So I have to cut some up. Okay, so some people ordered t-shirts already, which is awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna go make a vacuum table so that I can put a t-shirt down on the table and then put the stencil on there. And then when I spray the spray paint, it'll suck the spray paint down onto the shirt. Cause you know whenever you spray stuff, some of the paint always flies away. Well, this way I won't waste paint cause I, I hate wasting stuff. So I'm gonna go, I should go make a video about doing that too actually. Cause a lot of people would want a vacuum table and you know, it's nice to see how someone else makes it. Okay, I'm gonna go.